Sometimes a family crisis, like the loss of a job, a divorce, infidelity, or a prodigal child situation can lead to unintended consequences. But the nurse was telling him that I was pregnant. And I felt horrible after everything we've been through with Dad. And we were finally getting out of that little, that chapter of our lives and onto the new chapter, out of that rut, out of that that jail scene and now we're going into another valley, another rut, another because of me. Real girls, real life, real hope. That's the message of Yellow Roses, an Emmy Award winning DVD documentary and Bible study that captures the heart of young women today and offers them hope in return. Learn more at yellowrosesfilm.com. This is Holy Land Moments with Rabbi Yaquil Eckstein, founder of the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews. The concept of covenant was very prevalent in the ancient Middle East. What the Bible did, however, was radically transform that idea by insisting that it was possible for God to be in covenant with man, and that he has a specific eternal covenant with his people Israel. The first biblical covenant was between God and Noah. We call it the Noahite Covenant. After the great flood, God promised never again to destroy all living creatures. And according to the Talmud, the rabbinic commentary on the Bible, Noah promised in return to observe seven basic moral laws. These included prohibitions against murder, theft, cruelty to animals, worshipping idols, blasphemy, and illicit sexual relationships. It also included a positive command to set up a judicial system so that society could be ruled fairly. The Jewish perspective of this covenant represents one of the foundational differences between our two faiths. You see, in the Jewish view, these covenantal laws apply not just to Jews, but to all of Noah's descendants, meaning all of humankind. The Jewish belief is that non-Jews who obey these laws merit a place in the eternal world. In other words, you don't have to be Jewish to achieve salvation. Classic Christianity, on the other hand, affirms that Jesus is the sole path to eternal life. While Jews and Christians may disagree on how the covenant comes about, we all can be amazed and grateful that our God enters into radical relational covenant with his people, a covenant of love and blessing. You've been listening to another Holy Land Moment with Rabbi Yaquil Eckstein. To receive a free Israel the Beautiful 2013 calendar, visit us at holylandmoments.org. This is Maurice Griffin, and you're listening to Guts with Nikki V. with more guts, got the United States, brings the information to transformation within South Florida and all over the world. A variety talk show with a Christian point of view, hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. I'm your host, Nikki B, and we do thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast. We hope you continue to tune in Monday through Friday 
and we have various times that we're on the air. Check with us, see where we're on. 877-217-5375. That's 877-217-5375. On tomorrow, we'll be on at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right, we'll be on at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Friday, we intend to be on at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, this is our live broadcast. You can hear us in replays and uh, and on the archives and various other ways by going on to Gut Say or wherever we are playing in your neck of the woods. But uh, we have replays that go on throughout the day. But uh, as far as we're trying to change it up a little bit and give everybody an opportunity to have a live broadcast, because I heard from some of you and some of you said, you're never on live when I'm on. You're always on live early in the morning. Can you switch it up a little bit? So we're switching it up to make it convenient for all and each and every one of you. So we hope that that's helpful. We hope that you are appreciative of it. You can always send us a text and let us know if you appreciate the changing up and the transitioning, trying to make sure that we're on during the various times of the day. Or just be in studio live when we're on. The more, t- more people that are on with me during certain times of the day will let me know that I need to be on during those times of the day live. Now, I thank God for each and every one of you tuning into the broadcast. You are tuned in to Guts, Guts, the United States, bringing you the information to transformation within South Florida and all over the world. A variety talk show with a Christian point of view, hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. And I am your host, Nikki V. I want to share with you a little uh, news you could use, a real brief snippet of information, a little strange tidbit or a random fact that I'd like to share with you on today. And that is, in Denmark, people eat about 36 pounds of candy a year. 36 pounds of candy a year. Now, you might think that the United States got a beat, but actually the highest consumption of candy of any country. So even though you might think that uh, the, the U.S. ought to beat because we've got the obesity problem, well, to tell you the truth, it is not so. Denmark has got us beat in the most candy consumption. So uh, we thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast and being a part of what God is doing right here and right now. We are glad to be able to share some information with you. That's all. Another piece of information we want to share with you is about uh, all right. some strange news. And we'd like to tell you a little bit about that so that you can be aware of what's going on in that strange news. New York man who lost a leg in crucifix mishap sues the church. Yes. Like I told you, little tidbits of news here and there just to help us out. And in New York, Newburgh, New York, as a matter of fact, a trial has been scheduled for early next year in the lawsuit filed against an upstate New York church by a man whose leg had to be amputated after a 600-pound crucifix fell on him. Attorney Kevin Kitson of White Plains tells tells the Associated Press that the case of this client, David Jimenez, is scheduled for trial in January in an Orange County court. Kitson... Kitson says Jimenez prayed to the crucifix outside St. Patrick's Church in Newburgh after his wife was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. When she recovered, he showed his thanks by volunteering to clean the cross. In May 2012, the crucifix fell on him, crushing his right leg. It was later amputated. He's suing the church for $3 million. The church says it's not liable for the accident. Well, I tell you, stranger things have happened. Well, no, probably not. But anyway, he prayed, he got his deliverance, and then he got his amputation. I tell you, it's not funny, but it is kind of strange. But that's our news you can use, something I found interesting. Maybe you will as well, right here on Guts Gospel United States. Now to brief you and update you on something that will help you with your health, water testing. We want to make sure that you understand and get your water tested. Become informed. Uh, become educated so that you will be drinking safe water and not water that's doing your body harm. Welcome back, Water Testing Solutions. Hello, Water Testing Solutions? You there? Well, we thank God, I guess. Oh, oh. yes, yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I was uh, actually praying. Believe it or not, I was praying because I want to make sure that the message is clear. I have a lot of information, Nikki, and I'm like, wow, let me slow down and really explain what water testing solution is and why I've decided to be a part of this company. Water testing solutions will test your water for free 
to test to see if your water is safe. Your water is, wow, it's big business now. Bottled water, water filters, water that's in your shower, in your home. Everywhere you go, there's someone drinking water. The, the, it's just an issue that I did some research, and I found out that all water is not safe. So we're here to share just knowledge and education. And then let you decide, after you get the knowledge and education, the second defense is doing something about it. The first defense, knowledge, education. The second defense is doing something about it. Regulations of the United States are changing yearly. They're passing different ordinances where the cities, each municipality, is responsible for their own water treatment. Check it out. Certain areas, because of the piping is older, not the newer homes, they have to add more chemicals in order to deal with the older pipes and the older systems. One of the chemicals is chlorine. Another chemical that they found, even the state of New York has removed it from its system. Fluoride. Fluoride, they've been adding it for years. Now they're removing the fluoride from the water because wow. they're finding that they have to add too much fluoride and that chemical, it affects the filter. So you're actually destroying the filters that God made in your body, the kidney, the spleen, the liver, all of these parts God has made to filter and protect you. However, these chemicals that they're using to protect their pipes are actually hurting your chemicals, I mean hurting your body, preventing your chemicals from being able to take out the impurities. And guess what? Now you have to take prescriptions for the filters, and now the filters are damaged. So no matter what you do, once your filter, once your kidney is damaged, it's it. That's it. So if you found out that chlorine is actually damaging your kidney, would you do everything possible? to remove chlorine from your drinking water. Most yes. definitely, after That's all. Knowledge. It is. So this is water testing solutions. I'm just sharing with you solutions. After you get your water tested, you can get, I mean, even the pots. This is one to grow on. Maybe I can talk about pots a little bit later. You know, we could come on another episode, but the pots themselves, the Teflon actually that smoke that comes up is another chemical that needs to be removed that goes into your food. So you have to be aware of all of the different things corporations have been getting away with. Read the label. They'll tell you, do not cook around cats and dogs using Teflon. Read it. It'll let you know what's safe and what's not. Just like chemicals, just like the prescriptions, the, pres- the prescriptions. Yeah, you can take this, but it's going to kill you. You mess up your liver. You can take this. It's going to mess up your heart. You can kind of, kind of, um, your heart messed up. I'm, it, it's obvious. And regulations are making it so easy for businesses to manipulate people who have no knowledge and education. Water testing solutions will test your water for free and give you a greater understanding, a greater, not better, a greater understanding to make decisions to protect yourself and your family. Amen. And I tell you, we definitely need to make sure and do that. We definitely need to be safe. We need to have safe water to drink. We need to do what is, what is necessary to make sure that all of our organs are getting, because one of the things that's important for us is that we drink water, because water is the thing that helps to flush out our system. But if you've got contaminated water, you're only overrunning the system, because your your body is an actual purification system, to purify and to weed out all of the contaminants. But if your water that you're go, that you're bringing in, which is to help make your purification system in your body work right, then guess what? You're going to be overloading it, trying to fix some things that shouldn't even be in the water that we drink. But uh, before we get on a little bit more with that, God. 